Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again, and for those who've never joined, we're glad to have you here. I've pulled out my best quick cookbook again, and there's a recipe in it for a impossibly easy coconut pie. So, I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> I've never made this one before. I'm loving the recipes in this new book that I found at the Goodwill for 99 cents. And I've never ate these recipes before, so. I know the chicken broccoli pie was really good. Yeah. Just gonna brush that all up here on the sides, make sure it's kind of not puddly, <laughs> as I would say. It, that's a technical term. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm ready to pour this in there. Okay, we've got one cup of flaked sweetened coconut. One cup. I have got three-fourths a cup of sugar. I've got two cups of whole milk. I have got a half a cup of the Bisquick mix. four eggs, I'm going to take a teaspoon and a half, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Our furnace is kicking on, we got snow on the ground. It went over a little bit, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. No, it'll be extra vanilla. -y. Yes. <laughs> and a fourth a cup of softened butter. This turns out as good as that chicken and broccoli and puzzle pie did. It's going to be great. Yep. It's got coconut in it. How bad could it be? I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm using my Danish whisk. A lot of people ask about that. And we are not sponsored by Amazon or the Danish Whiz Company, but they are on Amazon. They're also known as a Danish Dough Whisk. We came across it and love it. We just want other people to know about it. A lot of people have bought it and they love it. They let me know. all in the design of, the, of that metal on there. It makes it incorporate the ingredients. This actually has replaced the hand mixer for us and a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's no need to cream this unless you just want to. The recipe doesn't call for it. So. And there will be lumps of the Bisquick in it, and that's okay because it's all going to cook out. Okay, get my pie dish. And you wonder how on earth can something that runny <laughs> bake into a pie, but it does gonna put this in the oven and you're gonna bake it for 50 to 55 minutes at 350 degrees. You will need to check the middle with a fork, uh, with a knife, a butter knife, table knife, whatever you wanna call it, I call them table knife. <laughs> but, uh, and if it comes out clean, then it's ready 
to take out and cool and then serve. So we're gonna put this in the oven 50 to 55 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we've got the pie out of the oven. We baked it, end up baking it for 55 minutes. Looks and smells delicious. My sweet Eric, he's gonna be the taste tester. There you go, hon. I don't know why I get stuck with a tough job. But... <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's My his aunt. taste of approval. <laughs> we'll definitely be making this more. Man, that's good. It almost looks like a custard, for a coconut custard. For as simple as it is. Very simple. It's so good. I want to thank you all for joining us and hope you like this uh, recipe. And uh, you're always welcome to our kitchen and into our home with us. Don't forget to please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Hope y'all have a blessed day and we love y'all.